Hi guys, welcome back to Waxing On. It's Monday, so that means jazz. And today we're going to look at a group, I'm going to say it's kind of more of a regional jazz band. It started out late 60s, early 70s. Uh, started out as an R&B, rock and roll type band. But by the 70s, it had kind of moved into more big band music. And by the time I had become aware of them, and this was in the uh, mid-70s, uh, they were more like a swing band. Now, this is another group that I became aware of thanks to public television. And if you've been watching the, the series for the last year or so, you'll notice there's an awful lot of people that uh, public television introduced me to. And a lot of the musicians that I've uh, bought their music, gone to see them live, has been because of that first exposure I got through public television. So, thumbs up to public TV. Uh, today we're looking at a band that's had a little bit of a change in names. Uh, originally known as the Widespread Depression Orchestra. Lately that was just shortened down to the Widespread Jazz Orchestra. And they had a number of albums out, mid-70s. It was, uh, I think, originally started in Vermont area. And it wasn't until later on in the 70s that they started recording. And this is one of the first albums I picked up, one called Boogie in the Barnyard with the widespread Depression Orchestra. And again, they were doing kind of swing jump tunes, uh, reminiscent of what we may have talked about with Louis Jordan, Shox Johnson, that kind of thing. And just to give you some idea of on here, a lot of Duke Ellington. We've got uh, Louis Jordan. We've got some Rogers and Hart that they're uh, tackling. And uh, Johnny Hodges. Songs like Cavernism, Backroom Romp, Tulip or Turnip. Bye Bye Blues, You Can Depend On Me, The Barnyard Boogie, uh, Zaza, You Took Advantage Of Me, being the Rogers and Hart tune, Little Rabbit Blues, and Louisiana Swing. Now, to give you some idea who's in the band, some of the names may not be familiar. This, uh, the trumpet players I recognize from a lot of uh, other things I'd seen in Downbeat Magazine. So they had played on other groups as well. Uh, in the sax section, we got... Michael Hashem, who was leading the band at the time I saw the, the concert. Uh, David Lilly on baritone, Tim Atherson on trombone, uh, Dean Nick Piper on tenor sax, Jordan Sankey on trumpet, and Michael LeDon on piano. I also have Johnny Holtzman on vibes and vocals, Phil Colloway on bass, and John Ellis on drums. Again, this was one of the first albums they released. Now, moved on, we've got another one that's uh, under the Widespread Depression Orchestra, and this one was called Downtown Uproar. Now, in this album, a lot of the same kind of music, Coleman Hawkins, uh, Ellington, we got Billy Strayhorn in here, we've got uh, James Oliver Young, and again, songs that may seem somewhat familiar to uh, Cab Calloway fans. We've got Topsy, Tate What You Do, It's the Way That You Do It, Daydream, Reefer Man, Hollywood Stampede, Downtown Uproar by Ellington, Hard Times, Flower is a Lonesome Thing, uh, Coming In Home, Choo Choo Boogie, not to be confused with Choo 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 Boogie, uh, East St. Louis Toodle Doo. And you can see that the kind of tunes we're talking are those older kind of swing tunes. Uh, stuff from the big band era, stuff from, uh, again, the era of people like Louis Jordan and Cab Calloway. Now, those albums are all on Stash Records, a little independent label. By the mid-80s, or into the 80s, I guess it was 1985, they had recorded for Columbia. So this was kind of like the first album with a, a, a major label. And this was Paris Blues. And they've also changed their name, now it's just the Widespread Jazz Orchestra. A lot of the same players in there. Uh, the only thing we've added, now the other Sankey brother. So we've got Jordan and we've got Randy both playing trumpet in the, the band here. And again, a lot of familiar tunes, Uptown Shout, uh, How Deep is the Ocean, Probably to a Kiss, again, some of that Ellington stuff. They're real heavy on the Ellington. Um, I got a bad that ain't good, I'm uh, just a lucky so-and-so. It was fun music. It was a great little jazz band. The band really swings. Nice vocals. Good selection of tunes, uh, kind of fun tunes that you don't hear anywhere else. 
Now, I don't know if a lot of their stuff is available online. I went on YouTube, and there are a couple of uh, videos on YouTube. I don't think a lot of the streaming networks are carrying their, uh, their music. Uh, some of the albums are available for purchase. But if you get a chance, start with YouTube and check that out. If you want to hear what this band's really all about. And again, they put on more albums out than this. This just happened to be what's in my record collection. So they have recorded more than just the three albums. And again, it's just a great little band to take a look at. A lot of people may not have heard them before. This is a good chance to check out something brand new. Okay, so that's it for today. Out of my record collection, we had uh, the Widespread Depression Orchestra. So thanks for stopping by. We'll uh, be back on Wednesday when it's classic rock. Until then, take care. We'll see you on Wednesday.